we have Callahan playing a Windswept Heath. We're going to crack that for a blue land so that we can play a Malcolm on turn two. And looks like we're going to pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Then we're going to play a Jeweled Lotus that'll trigger Mystic Remora. Draw. Play land for turn. Fetch. And then we're going to cast a turn to Krom using the Jeweled Lotus to pay for the colorless mana and turn it sideways where Topher will take the four commander damage from Krom and then we will promptly pass the turn to William. Paying one for Mystic Remora, then William will draw, play a Savannah as land for turn, then William will tap Savannah, Gemstone Caverns, and Birds of Paradise for Spell Seeker. When it enters the battlefield, it will search for Vampiric Tutor and add it to hand. Then William will pass the turn. Topher will draw, play a Badlands as land for turn, and then promptly cast a Loyal Apprentice. Moving to Cal's turn, we're going to untap, upkeep, draw. Then Cal is going to move to combat, swing Malcolm at will, and when William takes damage, Malcolm will create a treasure. In second main phase, Cal will use Elvish Mystic in two lands to cast Rhystic Study, trigger Mystic Remora, draw, it resolves in pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, whoopsie, put that back on top. Morphic Pool is land for turn, tap three lands, cast a Timna the Weaver, trigger Rhystic Study, draw. There will be no response for the Timna the Weaver. Go to combat, swinging Krom at Topher again for 4 damage. Pay 1 life and draw a card from Timna the Weaver. Pass the turn. Untap up keep. Thinks about the Mystic Remora trigger. Pays the Mystic Remora trigger for 2. Draws. Plays a land for turn. William passes their turn. We have an untap upkeep and draw from Topher. Morphic pool is land for turn. Casts a Timna the Weaver. Trigger Rhystic Study. Topher does not pay, so Cal will draw. Topher goes to combat and creates a 1-1 Thopter from Loyal Apprentice. Swinging Loyal Apprentice at Cal. Topher will pay one life and draw one card from Timna. Passes the turn. Untap upkeep draw for Cal. Plays a Wooded Foothills as land for turn. Fetches. Grabs a Volcanic Island. Moves to combat, swinging Malcolm at will. Creating a treasure. Then uses five mana to cast a Wandering Archaic. William will cast a Vampiric Tutor in response. Trigger Rhystic Study. Trigger Esper Sentinel. William pays for Cal's Rhystic Study, but allows Will to draw. Vampiric Tutor resolves. Passes the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw for Will. Sea of Clouds is land for turn. Move to combat. Swinging Krom at William. Pay one life, draw one card from Timna the Weaver. Tapping two mana for Dockside Extortionist. Trigger Rhystic Study. Will pays for it using Morphic Pool. This can make four treasures. Makes four treasures and passes the turn. William untaps, upkeep, sacrifices fish. Will draw for turn. William puts a dark ritual on the stack. Paying for Rhystic Study. Esper Sentinel will draw. Creates three black mana. Puts a Thassa's Oracle on the stack, paying for Rhystic Study. In response to the trigger, casts a Tainted Pact. Trigger Krom. Trigger Rhystic Study. Cal will draw. Priority is passed back to Will. Cal will sacrifice a treasure to cast Miscast, targeting Tainted Pact. It gets countered, and Thassa's Oracle trigger back on the stack. Looks at the top three, and all go to the bottom. Pass the turn. Topher's untap, upkeep, draw. Sea of Clouds is land for turn. Move to combat. Create a 1-1 Thopter from Loyal Apprentice. 
Swings a 1-1 Thopter at will. Pays one life, draws one card from Timna. Topher will discard a Wooded Foothills to hand size. Pass the turn. Cal untaps, upkeep, draws. Taps three mana for a tandem lookout. Cal swings Malcolm at will. Creating a treasure. Draws a card and passes the turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw for Will. Will sacrifices a treasure to put a Swords to Plowshares on the stack, targeting Wandering Archaic. Paying the one for Ristic Study. Cal gets to make a copy of Swords from Wandering Archaic, targeting Esper Sentinel. Wandering Archaic then gets exiled due to Swords to Plowshares resolving. Will then swings at William with Krom for 4 damage. Pay 1 life, draw 1 card from Timna. Land for turn. Silence on the stack. Trigger Ristic Study. Will pays. Here we see a Force of Negation from Topher. Also paying for Ristic Study. We will see a Dispel from Will, paying for Ristic Study. Resolve down to Silence. Force of Will, targeting Silence. Trigger Ristic Study. Cal will draw for this one. Trigger Krom for Will. Will casts Gamble. Not paying for Ristic Study. Resolving Gamble. One will be on the left. Eight will be on the right. And that is a three. Discarding Chrome Mox. He'll follow that up with a Reign of Filth. Trigger Ristic Study, not paying. Reign of Filth resolves. Sacrifice a land to cast a Mana Vault. Trigger Ristic Study. Sacrifice a land to pay for it. Will sacrifices two lands, taps Mana Vault to cast Ad Nauseum. Trigger Ristic Study. Will does not pay. Cal draws. Will begins to reveal from the top of their library using Ad Nauseum. Ragavan, Swan Song, Ranger Captain of Eos, Arcane Signet, Lion's Eye Diamond. Grand Abolisher. Force of Will. Savine's Reclamation. Toxic Deluge. And Intuition. Will is gonna stop there. Will is going to stop there. He will lose 22 life and go to 7. Plays Lion's Eye Diamond. Trigger Ristic Study. Draws. Plays Mox Opal. Trigger Ristic Study. Draws. Fetch. Grab an Underground C. Tap Underground C. And Mox Opal. For Cabal Ritual. Trigger Ristic Study. Create 5 black. Cast an Arcane Signet. Trigger Ristic Study. Use one of the black floating to cast a Soul Ring. Trigger Ristic Study. Cal will draw again. Tapping Arcane Signet and Soul Ring to cast Intuition. Trigger Ristic Study. Will will search his library for Brain Freeze, Underworld Breach, Lotus Petal, and the target for the spell will be William. As you can imagine, there's a lot of politicking going on at the table. Lots of conversation about what is in Will's library and what can be given to Will off of intuition. And after much consideration, William decides to give Will Underworld Breach.
and Will's opponent celebrate as Will passes the turn. A quick untap, upkeep, and draw for William. Tapping one for a mana vault, not paying for Ristic Study. William will tap two lands and mana vault to cast Kenrith, the returned king, not paying for Ristic Study. And then William will pass. Untap upkeep for Topher. In the upkeep, Topher will cast Vampiric Tutor, not paying for Rhystic Study. Topher will then put that card on top and then draw that card for a turn. Move to combat. Topher will make a 1 1 Thopter with Loyal Apprentice. He will swing two Thopters at Cal and one Thopter at Will. Loses two life, draws two cards off of Timna, taps three mana and casts Mnemonic Betrayal, trigger Ristic Study, trigger Krom, Will will draw from Krom, Cal will draw from Ristic Study. We're gonna see a Force of Will pitching a blue card from Will, targeting Mnemonic Betrayal. Cal will draw from Ristic Study off of Force of Will. Pact of Negation targeting Force of Will from Topher. In response to Pact of Negation, Cal will sacrifice a treasure, exile Simeon Spirit Guide, and flash in a Snapcaster Mage, Trigger Krom, targeting Miscast in the Graveyard. Casting Miscast from the graveyard targeting Mnemonic Betrayal, Miscast will resolve. This is important because it leaves Topher with the Pact of Negation trigger at the beginning of Nick's next upkeep. Topher passes the turn. Cal untaps, upkeeps, and draws. Tapping Volcanic Island and Elvish Mystic to cast a Dockside Extortionist. Making a lot of treasures. Use one of those to cast a Mystic Remora, swiftly followed by a Neoform, sacrificing Dockside Extortion. To go and get Glinthorn Buccaneer. With no responses, Cal moves to combat, swinging Malcolm and Glinthorn Buccaneer. And looks like that there are no responses in going to attackers, so we will move to damage. Looks like damage goes through, so Cal is explaining that when Malcolm and Glinthorn Buccaneer deal damage, since they are both pirates, Malcolm will create two treasures. Cal can then use those two treasures to activate Glinthorn Buccaneer's ability for red and one to, and discarding a card to draw a card. Since he discarded a card, Glinthorn Buccaneer will deal one damage to each opponent. Since Damage was dealt to an opponent by a pirate. Malcolm will trigger, creating three treasures, and he will use those treasures to then activate Glinthorn Buccaneer again and do this over and over until each opponent is at zero. Since each opponent is at zero, Cal wins the game.